Greetings DMs, GMs, and players. This is the Insomniac GM. Today, I'm for this GM diary, I'm just going to record myself making a character. Um, one of my friends, uh, I always refer to him as my DM. He's the one I've played the most games with and usually pick his brain the most for story ideas, game mechanics, and whatnot. Well, he invited me into one of his campaigns, uh, a Star Wars 5th edition game. And fortunately, I'm not going to be able to join at the moment. But if I decide to cut down in my hours, I can join. Or after the holidays, I can end up joining. He's fine with either or. So he just told me to roll up a character and start making it. So that's what I plan to do. Now, I don't know a whole lot of Star Wars, and I don't know a whole lot of... It, from my understanding, the 5th edition Star Wars is just a reskin of 5th edition, but I could be wrong on that, so there's still stuff I may be unsure of. So, one thing with me is, um... So... I like playing games where my character is a zero to hero character. I don't like creating these big epic backstories for them. I don't like making it where my character is the chosen one or whatever. I like my character feeling more like they fit in the world and they grow to great. So, for that, I'm just going to roll each stat in order. So, uh, okay, I got a 6, and that's another 3 and 3. That's 12. So, right off the bat, I have 12. Now, I'm going to go through with the racial skills, or racial bonuses, once I decide what class. Um, okay, I got a 6, a 5, and a 4, so that's 15, so, okay, I'm already pretty dexterous. And then, 10, 13, ooh, that's not good, <laughs> that's an 8 in intelligence, so my character is not that bright. That was a two, so that's eight. Ugh. So I got low intelligence and low wisdom. Uh, that's six, and I got another eight. <laughs> so my stats are 12 strength, 15 dex, 13 con, eight intelligence, eight wisdom, and eight charisma. Ugh. Okay, so... The reason why I roll my stats in order is I feel like that it kind of tells the story of the character. So right off the bat, I am I have good physical stats. Not so good like mental and speech skills. So with that being said... I feel like I'm much more hands-on character. Now, I can see with what I'm seeing, I'm very dexterous. I kind of see maybe this character living on the streets, being like a um, street rat or whatever you want to call it. And they're, they've been struggling to make it. They're always on the run just trying to snatch whatever they can to just survive. Maybe even taking up some jobs, which kind of sounds like I might go with a rogue. Uh, with low intelligence, low wisdom, and low charisma, I think... I think with that... I think the character probably 
I, I don't know Star Wars too well, but um, I'm assuming they have schools for their young. And I figure maybe due to the Empire or... Oh god, I hope he said that. I don't know my Star Wars like that. He said it's a Republic game. So I'm hoping... Like, that's with Stormtroopers and that? <laughs> Maybe the... He's from a village where... You know... They destroyed his home. He was like... A single survivor. You know? And, um... Because of that... I think he's a little more hesitant on trusting and speaking to people. Now, I wouldn't make that a flaw with a with a party, but more of a character arc for him. The whole fact that he will grow to learn to speak to this to his party, learn to um trust them. And Maybe with his low intelligence, too, because, like, he's been out on the streets. He hasn't had a proper education. He's only really learned what he's picked up from on the streets. So I think with that, I, I think I would go with a roguelike class for them. Uh, one thing I should do is roll to see what gender I want them to be. So odds male... Even is female? Odds. Okay, so move it down male. Okay, so I'll decide a name much later, but um, uh, let's see. Okay, so I get, um, I'm used to the regular 5th edition character sheet, so I'm kind of trying, okay. So, we'll put down his Defiance ability, or Defiant, which is a D4. So, once per short or long rest, I can roll a D4, add that to one of my rolls. Um, okay, so I'm going to come back to the rest, but I could increase one... I can increase... I can increase one ability score by two and increase two by two abilities by one, or I can choose to increase just four skills by or four stats by one, which I think that would actually be kind of good too. Um, I'm I'm gonna decide as I go, but now I'm gonna go into um, it, let's go into backgrounds. So, for backgrounds, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. so in case anyone's wondering why I went with, um, with a human, as a, I'm not going to call myself a forever GM, but I GM a lot of games, and a lot of the games I'm in, players, a lot of my players are just what do I want to say about them? A lot of them, nobody ever chooses human. So everyone tries to make their characters so exotic and that, which that's fine. I'm, you know, I got no problem with that, but it just kind of makes me feel a little numb about it where I just kind of want to be human, you know, which I should probably write human. Okay, so really quickly, let me roll for alignment. I may re-roll this, but so mm, okay, so I got dark side. Mm, no, no, that doesn't. I'll come back to that. I don't agree. I, I would have gotten a lawful evil character and Uh, okay. Oh, here's the back, backgrounds. Uh, criminal. We can go that. Is there something else I want? No, we'll just go criminal. 
Um, so background, they're a criminal. So as a criminal, I get two from either deception, intimidation, sleight of hand, or stealth. So I'm definitely gonna go with stealth for this character. Okay, and then I'm going to go sleight of hand. That makes a lot of sense to me. Okay, so now we'll go to classes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what rogue would be. Let's check operative. I, I'm thinking Starfinder, so I could be wrong on this. Um, operative. Yeah, okay, so operative. Um, oh man, I'm trying to remember what level he told me. Um, hold on. I forgot all about this. I'm so sorry, people. Level four, three feats to start. Okay, can't take any ability scores. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Okay, so I'm gonna write down three ability scores. Ah, or three feats. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just play an operative. That sounds the best for this character. Um, so, with an operative, my proficiency bonus at level 4 is a plus 2, and my abilities, I get expertise, and if it's how it is in 5e, I get 2, I'll look, I get sneak attack, which I get 2d6, and then cunning actions. I gotta look at that. I, it, I haven't really, I've been trying to stay away from um, running 5th edition for some time. So I am um, a little rusty if some of these are actual 5th edition abilities if they're re-skinned or, but we'll see. And then bad feelings. And then operative practice. practice and then I get two operative exploits okay so um, my hit points are okay so 1d8 or 8 plus my account I'm gonna take care of that later I'll just write down 1d8 d8 there uh, okay, so I get Dexterity and Intelligence for saving throws. Kind of funny, Intelligence. Um, I get four skills, so we'll go Acrobatic. Uh, da da da. Investigation, or I think insight, because he he's very paranoid with how people are. He doesn't, yeah, survival, and very observant. He has major trust issues, so there's my four. Um, okay, so 
sorry again I'm like looking all over this like these sheets like oh I'm not this is the first time I played the Star Wars one so simple blades or simple blasters I'm proficient with simple fibro weapons blaster pistol hidden blade I don't know how much money the DMs have to start off with and if we're allowed to um shop beforehand what that I could see those characters like just carrying around um just being loaded with a bunch of hidden weapons kind of like um with a joker um okay I'll go back to equipment later oh Mm, okay, so expertise, I choose two. So for my two, I'm going to go with stealth. That's one of them. And I'll go sleight of hand for the other, for expertise. And then quick thinking and ability, da da da. Okay, so you can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. Oh, okay, so cunning action is a fifth, normal 5th edition thing. Um, I adopt two exploits. End of the class description, bad feelings. Um, when you roll for initiative, you can move up to your speed. The movement happens before initiative order. Okay, that's pretty cool. You choose a break. Exerted... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's that's the subclass to operative practice. Um, so now I have ability score improvement. So with this, I'm gonna change my fifteen and my thirteen to a sixteen and a fourteen. Okay, um, so now let's go down to operative exploits. I get two. So, um, game proficiency in meat of armor. Ooh, okay, so I can gain a fighting style. That sounds pretty good. Um,. Mm -hmm. Exploit. You take the you take. When you take the attack action, you can use one of the skill exploits granted by this feature. You can use this feature a combined number of times equal to your intelligence. <sighs> okay, that's out the uh, window. Um, you learn and can... Mm. Oh, hmm. 
kind of like learner's exploit, but I, the problem is a lot of 5th edition games I see, the tools aren't really used, and I'd gain access to a tool and a skill and just kind of feel like the tool's kind of pointless at that point. Um, I'll take the commander's exploit. Mm, do I? No, never mind. This is 5th edition and I have dexterity as my highest, so I'm going to take fighter's exploit. Okay, I'll have to look out what choices I have for that. Um, you would... I'm going to use Freedom Exploit. I like that. I can, um... I can ignore difficult terrain, and I can break free from a grapple using a bonus action instead. Um, okay. And now, operative archetypes. Uh, oh my gosh. Um... I don't even know. Like, a lot of this is just going over my head with the descriptions. Um, let's check this one out. Um, let's see. The Gunslinger Practice. Uh, you learn a number of trick shots. You can use Billy. You deal sneak attack damage to a creature. You may choose to forgo two of your sneak attack dice. Make the attack a trick shot. Okay. You attempt to blind the target. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I like this. So I'll go with the, um, gunsling, gunslinger practice. So... Okay, so, okay, uh, yeah, that's only, okay, is there a section in here for me to write down saving throws or anything? That's not, okay, I can just write down like DC and then whatever I end up deciding it to be for my, okay. So back to characters, species. Why, why has it changed the format on me? Okay. So Frankly, I like the idea of having these low stats. I know I sound crazy saying so, but yeah. So I get plus two to one stat, plus one to two different stats. Um, so I'm going to increase his intelligence and his wisdom by one each, making that nine and nine. I'm going to make... I'm going to go with Dexterity from a 16 to an 18. So, with that said, 
Uh, my expertise, that's two times two, that's four, four, oh, I should probably put the modifiers. So minus one, minus one, minus one, two, one, four. So four plus four, that's eight, that's eight, and that's six. Um, save and throw for this is a one. Save and throw for this is a six. And for insight, plus one, plus one, and plus one. Uh, so let's see. I chose that already. Um, I should probably... I should probably end up looking at um, those um, fighting styles. How do I like? There we go. That's how I wanted. Okay, so let's go to customize the options real quick. Because I know that's where feats are. And oh, I gotta roll do my health. So okay, my health is eight plus two, that's ten. Um, that is 18. Ooh, okay. That's 18, 21. That's 30. Right, seven, one, yeah, okay. I rolled my four dice. So there we go. I have 30 HP. Okay, so let me look at what feet. Uh, okay, that explains it. Feet. You gain proficiency in the acrobatic skill. Oh, I already got that. Ooh, alert. So, initiative currently is a four. Don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you. So, I will take alert. Okay. So, alert is one of my feats. So, my initiative is now a... Plus nine. Um, let's see. Brownie. Mm. Ooh, climber. You know, climbing speed equal to your move speed. You have advantage on ability checks and saving throws to avoid falling uh, for down while climbing. You can spend five. Okay, so we'll go climber. I wonder if they have the mobile feet, just like um, in 5th edition. So, they do. So... Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. So, mobile. So, my movement speed is now 40. I make character sheets all the time, and I'm like, I'm going crazy that I can't find this. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, so I got that. Let's see, is there probably should have taken tough. Oh, tough's not as good in this. Okay. I was gonna say that rolling a one on my health did not help. 
Okay. Excuse, like, all the noise and you guys keep seeing me, like, looking away. I, um, I got kittens and they're kind of, kind of being a little extra right now. So, okay. Uh, okay, so fighting styles. Why are they? Oh, okay, so one must be. Okay, I don't know. I'm... You can take the hide action as a bonus action if you could already take the hide action as a bonus action. You can instead take it as a reaction on your turn. Creatures you've dealt damage to since the start of your last turn have disadvantage on wisdom perception checks. Oh, yeah. We'll go that. Kvert style. Um, okay. At this point, I just need to get my equipment. And I'm not going to make you guys really watch me do that. But, so, I have a character who has a low intelligence, low wisdom, low charisma. Very dexterous, um, very physically built over everything else, and they're good at running, they're good at climbing, um, they're very observant, although they have a low wisdom, and they just seem to be on alert, always watching, and so I'm thinking... I hope I got my right time correct that it's during the stormtroopers and all that. If not, I can easily just change it to like the droids and that. I'm not good with this. <laughs> um, but I figure their small village, kind of like the village of Mandalorian when there's like the forest and all that, um, where the troopers are like attacking that area. A small village kind of like that. I figure the character's family was probably like killed. And the town was torched away with like fire and all that. And the only reason they survived is probably because one of their family members shielded them with their body. And, um... So they had to watch their family member die in that. And since then, they've been pretty jaded. Um, they see the world as a harsh place. Oh, there's one thing I want to do that I forgot to do. Um, This is something I specifically do. Uh, I want like an actual list. We'll just go image. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this twice, take one that I like better. Oh, I already like that one. Okay, so their sin is greed. So my character is based on greed. So that that's probably one of the motives. Maybe they're trying to save money to live a comfortable life. But their whole story arc I want to go with with this is that they... um. Their whole story arc is to learn to trust others. And, yeah. But I'll work out more details with this character, choose the equipment and whatnot. But that was the video today. Um, sorry it wasn't too interesting. But figure DM diary today. <laughs> I'm building a 5th edition Star Wars character. Well, until next time. Take care, guys.